Hello, in this video, welcome to physics. We are revising 2020 science paper 2, that is uh, physics. So I have question B1, which says, an object of mass, 75 kg on Earth, is taken to the moon where the gravitational field strength is 1.6. What is the mass of the what is the mass of the object on the moon? Mass does not change. So the mass still remains 75 kgs. And the other one says calculate the weight of the object on the moon. Weight is equal to mass times gravity. Mass is 75 kg. Make sure that your mass is in kg. Gravity we have 1.6 newtons per kg. So kg and kg cancel. Then we have 75 times 1.6. We have 120 newtons remaining of weight. Give two differences between mass and weight. In terms of measurement, mass is measured by electronic balance. Wow, weight measured by spring balance. We go there, we have two that says another one. We have to say mass measured in kilograms. Don't say kgs, make sure you write it to all. Wow. Weight is measured in Newtons. Then question B2 says a blade of mass 50 grams moving with the initial speed of 500 meters per second penetrates a hole and comes to rest in 0 0.2 seconds. Calculate the deceleration of the blade over the 0 0.2 seconds. A deceleration, also known as negative acceleration, is called the change in velocity over the change in time. So the change in velocity, we have 500 meters per second minus 0 meters per second. Is to remember, this is the initial speed. Divided by the change in time is 0 0.2. So therefore, you have 500 divided by 0 0.2. You have 2,500. So the deceleration, of so which is which is already written there, is 0 0.2 meters per second squared. B says determine the retarding force on the bullet. In terms of force, I'm going to use this Newton's first law of motion, which is mass times acceleration. The force, we don't know it, but acceleration, which is the same as deceleration, we have it as 2,500 times the mass. The mass of the bridge has been given in the, in the equation. Let me just pause it a bit. So we have mass. Now the mass is in grams. Now we know that 1 kg equals 1,000 Grams. The mass must be converted into gram into into kgs. That's why I've done like this. Then multiply by its acceleration, which is two thousand five hundred. So we are saying two thousand five hundred. So fifty divided by one thousand. Sorry, fifty you divide by one thousand. Then multiply by two thousand five hundred. You are getting a force of one hundred twenty-five newtons. B3 says, the figure B3.1 shows the pulley system. State the velocity ratio of the pulley system. Velocity ratio of the pulley system is always the number of pulleys. All right, we have only two pulleys here. So the velocity ratio is equal to two. We can also count the number of loops. We only have two. We have one, then we have two. Remember the road is 120. If the efficiency of the pulley is 75, what is the mechanical advantage? MA 
means mechanical advantage. Now efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times what? 100. Now we have 75 percent, so we say 75 percent is equal to, that's our efficiency. Mechanical advantage we don't have, but we have velocity ratio as 2. And you cross multiply 2 times 75, what do you get? 75 times 2, you get 150 is equal to 100 ma. So to remain the ma, you divide both sides by 100. You discover that your ma will be 1.5. Your ma must always be less than the velocity ratio. They're saying if the load is 120 newtons, what is the size of effort? What is the size of the effort? And we know that mechanical advantage is equal to road over what? Over effort. Mechanical advantage is 1.5. The road is 120 newtons. What can the effort be? So in this case, effort is equal to 120 newtons divided by 1.5. So 120 divided by 1.5, we get 80. So the effort is equal to 80. Point zero newtons. This one D says find what work done what work is done by the effort if the load is lifted through zero point five. I know that work done is equal to force times what distance. The road is one which has moved the distance. So I'm going to use one twenty times 0 0.5 so saying 120 times 0 0.5 that should give you 60 joules or 60 newton per meter question b4 says what waves travel at a speed of 3 30 meters per second through a medium if 10 waves pass a certain point per second calculate the frequency of the wave now frequency is equal to the, uh, the, the number of complete of oscillation over time taken. Now here, the number of complete oscillations here is 10 per second. One second. So we have 10 hertz as frequency. This is just the total. All right. If 10 waves pass through a point per second, Frequency is 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 the, is the number of complete oscillation passing through a second. So the frequency is 10 hertz. Wavelength of the wave. Now we know that speed is equal to frequency times wavelength. Speed has been given to be 30 meters. Frequency we have is 10 times lambda, which is the symbol for wavelength. So divide both sides by 10 both sides by 10, then you're going to have lambda is equal to, you cancel this, and there you cancel, there you cancel, and there you cancel, 1 into 3, you just be 3 meters, distance should always be in meters. What does loudness of sound depend on? Loudness of sound actually depends on the amplitude of the wave. So it depends on the amplitude of the wave. So thank you so much. We'll continue answering more questions. Some previous tutorial tabloid. Please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, share, and invite more people to watch videos. I'll see you in the next video. For private lessons, you can contact me on 0978 07 Peace.